They boasted the car show had anything you'd ever want to see in a car, on a car, or for a car. There were Model A's, Corvairs, and even men in gangster outfits to show off the more vintage automobiles. You may not see the likes of this car on the road unless you're very lucky. And that's why car enthusiasts have come from all over the country to the car show and to see the likes of this 1948 vintage Buick Roadmaster. Or for those with more modern and sporty taste, this 1974 Corvette. The owner of this envious machine, Jesse Gould of Bedford, PA. You'd kind of think a lot of work goes into keeping this car in good shape. Yeah, we've put a lot of work into it. I haven't really drove it for the last three years, but uh, trying to keep it where it looks now. And uh, we've done quite a bit of work on it. <laughs> Gould says he's gotten some good offers for his car, but nothing when we talk to him worth jumping up and down about. But at least he's had a good time. It's been great. Uh, weather's been good. And uh, a lot of people around, a lot of different vehicles. Meanwhile, in the flea market end of things was Frank Cornell from the Chicago area, who says that business wasn't as good as they thought it would be. Uh, we're really not sure because the crowd was here. Uh, we're in home engine parts. Maybe it was just our product line. Um, but we're happy with, uh, with the weather, we're happy with the show arrangements, and uh, we'll be back next year to do better. Kathy Riley, News 21, Carlisle. CBS 21 News, celebrating 70 years, proudly Pennsylvania. Thank you for celebrating Central PA with us. I'm Linda Johnston with Renewal by Anderson, and we are proud to be celebrating 28 years serving Central PA.